this morning. My name is Todd Saunders from That Safety Guy and I'm just doing an introduction today into a basic floor arrest harness. Now, once again, I reiterate, this is just an introduction just to show people how the harnesses actually go on and fit around the body. And it by no means replaces actual formal training if you are going into a high safety uh, situation. So I'd like to introduce Elias from Spanset and he'll take you through uh, putting the harness on. Thanks, Todd. Cheers. Uh, I'll start off by putting on a basic floor arrest harness. The most easiest and direct way that uh, we recommend, by all means, always refer to the fitting instructions that do come supplied with the harness, is always, always by picking it up by the rear D-ring, rear dorsal. Bit of a shake, and you get the harness basically intact, ready to be put on. I always like to recommend by starting with the left hand, grabbing the left strap at the confined space loop, and as you would put on a jacket, First step would basically be to start by connecting the buckles on the chest strap. Make sure there is no twists or turns in the webbing that is actually straight. Once connected on, adjust at complete tension. Once you've connected your chest strap and at a maximum extension, follow them through to the leg straps. By starting at the right leg strap, making sure there is no twists or turns. Followed by the second leg strap. Ensuring again there is no twist or turns in the webbing. And then just like the chest strap, securing at maximum tension. Once again, pulling through and twining up any excess webbing, utilising the web tie-downs on the actual harness to eliminate any risk of getting in contact with any obstructions on site. Great, thanks very much Elias and uh, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time on that safetyguide.info. Thank see you. you. Bye -bye. Cheers.